What up, everybody? Let's do some gun cleaning on the Glock 43 and 9mm. It's empty. Now, let's get the box out of the way. Now, don't forget with the, with the Glocks, they give you the little uh, cleaning tool. They used to give you a rod. Let me see. I don't think they do anymore. But what's kind of funny is uh, inside the box, it's got a little holder for that uh, cleaning rod. I mean, a uh, cleaning brush. But I have a whole kit, so I don't need it. Oh, I apologize in advance if you hear me snuffle. All right, everybody. Now, because I always like to plug my friends, I'm using a mat from ColoradoBishcraft.com. Mitch is the maker of the finest wax canvas and leather goods. Please check them out. All the stuff is made in Colorado, where he lives, by him. So please, go check him out. All right, anyways, now, got that out of the way. Let's get to actually working here. Where is my... Ah, there we go. I've got some hops here. I had some spray somewhere. If you watched my other video, you would have heard me say I need to clean my, uh, clean my workbench. Ah, there's the spray. That's actually what I was looking for. That's lube. I want the actual. This is lubricating oil, but it makes it a little, uh, a little easier. Anyways, now with the Glock, all Glocks are basically the same. Pull back, you gotta, and pull forward. Now remember when you're pulling back, before you actually do, you have to pull the trigger. The trigger needs to be to the rear. Take it out, take it off, and let's take some little looks at it. All right, it is pretty, uh, pretty clean as it is. Only shot to two magazines to it, and literally it's brand new. Uh, just got it uh, the other day. So we don't have to do a real intense cleaning on it. It's more just kind of, of a, uh, a wipe down than anything. So I really don't even need my kit at the moment. As I find random things that are still connected. But hey, that's the fun part. Alright. Let's spray a little. Uh, spray a little of the uh, lubricant oil on here just kind of give it a wipe down there's nothing on the inside that needs to be wiped out just give her a quick this is a nice thing with Glocks and the Glock knockoffs is that uh, the breakdown for field stripping is very easy to do you don't have to go super in depth. You don't need anything fancy, any specialty type tools. Hell, you don't need any tools at all. You just need to be able to pull it back, pull it forward, and pull down those two little strips. So, real quick, easy to do. Let's put it back together. You got to be able to put it back together once you get it taken apart. Barrel goes back in. The uh, spring goes in. Now remember with the spring, you want it to go. You want it to seat all the way down there. Okay, don't just put it up here on the top, or it won't really work. Actually, I don't think it'll work at all. Slide it back in. And you're good to go. Turn the phone up. I'm a Glockaholic, and I'm not afraid to admit it. I love Glocks. I've had Glocks since I turned 18. Always carry them, but I have other stuff too, which watch for other videos and you'll see more. If you guys got any questions about Glocks, let me know. Talk to you all here later.